they have a formula for it, and it's right here. This came straight out of your, your lessons. The reorder point is the daily usage, so how many they use each day or how many they sell each day, times the lead time in days. Okay, so how much lead time do they need in order to order it? That would depend on how long it takes the shipper to ship it to them, and that's usually pretty consistent. And then they add to that the safety stock. So sometimes they like to keep just a certain number on hand, that's safety stock, so that if the order goes bad or if they pick up on sales, they'll still have enough. So let's do an example. It says the hair care place sells 100 bottles of shampoo each month. It takes seven days lead time to replace the shampoo. The safety stock is 15 shampoo bottles. What is the reorder point considering 25 working days in a month? So let's take a look at our important information that they gave us. It says that they sell 100 bottles of shampoo each month. Okay, um, well, they have 25 working days. So one thing we needed to know was the daily usage. Okay, so to find your daily usage, they didn't just give that to us. Before we can do this, we have to know how many per day are they selling. They sell 100 bottles a month, and they work 25 days. Okay, so to find this, you take the number of items that they use in a month and divide by the number of days. We are selling 100 bottles of shampoo in 25 days. So you do 100 divided by 25 tells us that they are selling four bottles each day. That's our daily usage. Okay, so that's one of our key parts. We also need to know the lead time in days, and it says here the lead time in days, oops, wrong thing, the lead time in days is seven days to replace shampoo, and we need to know the safety stock. The safety stock, it says, was 15 bottles of shampoo, and then we just put all of that into the formula. So we're supposed to do daily usage, which was four bottles we found out, times the lead time in days. The lead time was seven days. And then we're supposed to add to that the safety stock. The safety stock was 15 bottles of shampoo. So the reorder point is going to be 4 times 7 plus 15. Make sure you follow the correct order of operations and do the 4 times 7 first. Gives me 28 plus 15. Okay, so the reorder point is 43. That means that when they get down to 43 bottles of shampoo, they need to make another order so that they'll have them ready when they run out, before they run out. Okay, let's try another. A large appliance manufacturer uses 8,420 spools of wire every 20 working days. The lead time for wire is 13 days, there's our lead time, and the safety stock is five days usage. Okay, we wanna be careful on that one. What's the reorder point? All right, so they do give us a hint. It says first find the daily usage and compute the exact amount of safety stock. So they were trying to be tricky here, <laughs> and instead of saying the number of safety stock, they said five days worth. So first we need to find out what our daily usage is. How many do they use each day? Well, it says they use 8,420 spools, but that's every 20 days. So if we divide that by 20 for the 20 days, we will find out how much they use each day. And it looks like they use 421 spools of this zip wire. Okay, so that is our daily usage. That's one part. Um, we also needed to know the lead time, which they gave us right up front. We also need to know the amount of safety stock. Again, they didn't tell us right up front what our safety stock was. They just said it's five days worth of usage. So if we use 421 a day, how much do we use in five days? So we just take 421 times five, and we find that we use 2,105 that's our safety stock. 
we have everything we need now, so we're going to go ahead and calculate it. So remember the formula says we take the daily usage, which was 421. We multiply that by um, the lead time. The lead time here was 13 days. And then we add the safety stock, which we found the safety stock was 2,105. Again, follow order of operations. You do multiplication first, so 421 times 13 gives us 5,473 plus the safety stock of 2,105. Okay, so the reorder point for this company is 7,578. When their spools, when they get down to 7,578 spools, they know that they need to order more. And again, this keeps them so that they have enough on hand and yet don't have so much that it costs them way too much to store it. Okay, so if you don't have that formula written down now <laughs> yet, please write down the formula. Okay, the reorder point is the daily usage times the lead time oops, plus safety stock. Maybe just rewind to the beginning. That was kind of ugly. <laughs> okay, so that's how we figure out our reorder point for a store.